Around the year 480, a woman in Nursia, Italy, gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. In time, both of them became contemplatives, people who devote their entire life to prayer. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today we're celebrating the feast of the girl who came to be known as Saint Scholastica, a name which means the learned one. Her twin brother was the famous Saint Benedict, founder of Benedictine monasteries, whose name means the Blessed One. When other women began to join Scholastica in a life dedicated to prayer, they moved to a place five miles from Benedict's first monastery, where they became the first group of Benedictine sisters. I like the fact that these twins are named the Learned One and the Blessed One. For me, that's a sign that it's a blessing to learn and that learning and faith go together. Unfortunately, many people don't think so today. They think that people of faith are stupid and mindless, that they put their minds on hold when they enter church, that educated people will move beyond what they think are the childish ways of faith. Not so. Were it not for the followers of Benedict and Scholastica, learning would have been lost during the period known as the Dark Ages. Benedictine monks and sisters laboriously copied manuscripts and kept knowledge alive. Faith and reason are not enemies, but twins. Pope John Paul II wrote an encyclical about this called Fides et Ratio, Faith and Reason. Faith and reason are like two wings on which the human spirit rises to the contemplation of truth. And God has placed in the human heart a desire to know the truth, in a word, to know himself, so that by knowing and loving God, men and women may also come to the fullness of truth about themselves.